The Zeebo likes to talk about life while he's shooting people in the face. The Zeebo. What is going on, everybody? It is Lozevo here. You're looking at some shotgun gameplay, USAS 12 on the map, Bakara, Baraka, Bakara, I don't know, however you, however you want to say it. Uh, I don't think I've ever posted a shotgun gameplay before, so here you go. I've been running around with shotguns this whole uh, latest prestige. I have been playing a little bit of this game, so uh, the USAS 12 isn't bad uh, in terms of it's one of the better shotguns, so... Um, anyway, I don't want to talk about the gameplay. You can tell by the title of this video. I'm going to talk to you guys about crazy, crazy women. Women are crazy. That's what I'm learning. They're all crazy. Um, in some way or another. It's your, your, you can only hope to find one that's less crazy. And, um, lately I've been finding the ones that are m the most crazy, I guess. Or maybe not the most. Not like, you know, cutting my dick off Lorena Bobbitt style or anything. But, uh, pretty close. Pretty close. So let's uh, let's jump right into it. I had mentioned before that there was a girl that I was talking to that I met online through a dating website, and she seemed pretty cool at first. Uh, we got along really well, had a lot in common, things were going well. I guess that's to be expected in the beginning when people are putting their best foot forward. But uh, I would, you know, I had I was, you know, cautiously optimistic with this girl, and. So I added her on my Facebook page, and she freaked out when she saw pictures that were um, that had my ex in them on my Facebook page. And I mentioned before in that video that uh, the the pictures that I do have are they're not anything inappropriate. I'm not like making out with my ex. It's not our wedding photos or our honeymoon photos. Like I actually went through and took the time and took due care to like remove the ones that I thought could be an issue in the future. So. Uh, Anyway, she flipped out that there was any picture at all of my ex. Like, I was with my ex the last 10 years of my life. Like, I'm just supposed to erase that and all the memories. Like, anytime I went out, she was with me. So she's in pictures. She's in the background. She's, you know what I mean? She's around me. So uh, either I erase the last 10 years of my life or you, you just move on. I'm not with her anymore, so just get over it, you know? It's not like, <laughs> it's not like there's any inappropriate pictures. That's what I feel in my eyes. So she flipped out over that. And I kind of said, and when I say she flipped out, like she was like sending me all kinds of text messages and she called me an asshole and she said, actually she called me the nicest fucking asshole she's ever met, which I guess is uh, in a way it's a compliment. So <laughs> I don't know, maybe you just, uh, maybe you just roll with it. I've never been called an asshole before, but if you're going to be, you might as well be called the nicest one, right? So, um, so anyway, at that point, I was like, okay, this th this girl's kind of crazy, and I can I can vouch for uh, Mortis knows this whole story. If you're listening, Mortis, I probably should have taken your advice and just stopped it right there because, um, basically, what happened after that is the craziness calmed down. I don't know if this has anything to do with like the cycle of the month that she was in or anything. Sorry, women, but you do go crazy at certain times in the month. It's just a fact. Uh, scientific fact <laughs> so uh, I don't know if it had anything to do with that but she flipped out the one time and after that things settled down and she was cool again and she she was really digging me I think I think uh, she wanted to go out so I kind of said you know maybe I can take this girl out I was thinking that we got along great when she wasn't crazy I figured if we dated that would be bad but I figured uh, if we just went out and hung out as friends like that can't be bad. When I was married, I got rid of all my female friends, so I don't really have female friends anymore. And uh, now that I'm single, uh, it's I feel like it's okay to have female friends. Like, when you're with someone, it's not a good idea. Don't have female friends, guys. Women don't like that. They're super competitive, and it's dangerous. You know, women fall, could fall in love with you, and then you just don't even want the temptation to, like, cheat on her or whatever. But, oh, by the way, watch this. Watch this shotgun. One, two, three, four... Five, six, six hit markers. All six shots hit that guy, and he's still alive. Granted, he's a little far away, but if he hits anybody six times, they should die in, in any game. I don't know. This is crazy. Like, why even give you a hit marker? So, anyway. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I got off on a tangent there. It pissed me off when it happened in the game. But uh, C4, in your face. Uh, basically, was, we went out once. She convinced me to go out. We went roller skating and which was hot as hell it's hot in michigan i was sweating my balls off uh but it was fun and then we went and walked around this little carnival that was in town and so it was a really old school date i haven't done that in a while it was it was kind of fun actually i'm like dude i'm a kid at heart so 
uh, I I like doing that kind of stuff. I didn't, you know, those are things that, uh, like, I could never convince my ex to go roller skating with me. I always thought it would be a fun date, and she never wanted to go. She was afraid to fall down and bust her face or something. I don't know. But uh, so those are <laughs> – it was, it, was co- it was cool. We had a good time. It was totally friendly. Nothing happened. Uh, there was no making out, no holding hands, nothing. It was just hanging out, right? It was friendly. And she definitely wanted a second date after that. I was like, you know, let's just be friends. Let's just be friends, you know. And she, I don't think she could accept that. She was the kind of girl that's never, she's always been the one to reject guys. She's never been rejected herself. And it had nothing to do, she was a pretty girl. It had nothing to do with the way she looked. Um, You know, I think guys, she's used to guys just using her for how she looks or whatever. And uh, so she couldn't deal with the fact that I, her personality made her unattractive to me. And, uh, and just by the craziness factor. So, uh, so she started flipping out. She started sending me all these, me- these, these messages. She said, why is it so easy for guys to treat me like shit? Why do you, you know, she was basically saying I was treating her like shit. And, uh, which I guess just not being attracted to a girl is treating her like shit, uh, apparently. But, uh, she started sending me these messages. She wanted, she sent me the question, why is it so easy for guys to treat me like shit? And I wasn't answering. By this time, I'm withdrawing. That's my mode of operation. I pull back when things get crazy like that. So she's asking me, why, why, why? 66 messages in a row. Why, why, why? With no response from me. Like I wake up and there's just my whole feed in my phone is just why, 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 why? The first 30 are the word why. And then she switched over to guys because I guess it's faster. Just the letter why. And I was like, this is crazy. And then there was voicemails. She's leaving me voicemails and text messages. And I was like, (laughs) so I I just shut the ringer off on my phone. I was like, I'm not dealing with it. I'm not responding. I'm not answering. Then she starts sending me, the next morning, she starts sending me dirty pictures of her in the bathtub. And she's like, how about I just come over and fuck you? I was like, how about no? You're crazy. She's like, okay, I'll just suck your dick. I'm like, no. Like, you want me to put my penis in your mouth? Are you crazy? (laughs) And <laughs> like you'll, you'll definitely bite it off or something like I, I'm, I don't want I don't want to even risk like knocking you up that would be horrible like can you imagine that as a baby mama jeez so I'm like no way no way you know I like I gotta block this girl so I went in and uh, I blocked her on on my phone company website so that she couldn't send me any texts I set it up in my phone where if she calls it goes right to voicemail and I thought I was done with it and then I get a message on the dating website. She's like, did you block me? Did you delete me? I was like, this is crazy. And I wasn't, she, so then she was like, she's like, just answer that question. I'll leave you alone. Why is it so easy for guys to treat me like shit? And I wasn't responding. And she was like, fine, I'll see you in a bit. Now, keep in mind, I've never, ever told her my address. I've never, uh, she's never been to my house. And she was like, you still live at such and such address, right? And she had my address. I'm like, crazy stalker. So I was like, okay. So I, I officially blocked her on every way that she could contact me. And uh, then, except for she could still leave me a voicemail, right? And then so I start getting voicemails from her. And she's asking me to block her in my phone so that she can't call me. And I thought that was absolutely psycho. I'm like, you can't just delete my number and not call me anymore. Why is that responsibility on me? Why do I have to block your number so you won't call me? That is crazy. So... Uh, then I get messages from her. The last thing I got was picture messages of a handful of pills and then all those pills in her mouth, which were Percocets. And I guess she was like threatening to kill herself or something. And, uh, I didn't know what to do. I had never like got anything like that before. So I I just, like I checked with my buddies, uh, or my brother-in-law's friend who's a police officer and just made sure, like, I was like, am I liable if I get these pictures and I don't respond or don't do anything and he's like no no you're not liable at all so like i figure if she really wanted to kill herself she wouldn't be sending me pictures like uh my family has known people that have done that and most of the time they just go do it like they don't warn anybody or whatever so um anyway that was just absolutely crazy i like that stressed me out a little bit like someone sends you pictures like threatening to kill themselves over you and i've only known this girl two weeks like doesn't that seem crazy to you guys (laughs) i don't know Oh man, I can't even describe how insane that whole series of events was. But luckily, I haven't gotten any messages from her lately. Uh, She's not trying to contact me. She's not like showing up at my house 
burning it down or she's not like showing up naked with a shotgun and making me perform like sexual favors on her or something like I was getting nervous for a while but I think everything's died down it's been a few like a week or so and uh, I'm hoping that that's behind me and women if you're out there please don't be crazy uh it's stressful it's stressful on guys they just want guys are easy just feed us have sex with us and be fun and happy and you'll have you'll have a happy man (laughs) i don't know but uh i don't know tell me your crazy women's stories do you have anything that crazy or am i just like really going off the deep end here guys anyway i had to tell you guys about that and uh i hope you guys enjoyed the story and got a laugh out of it but uh it was a little scary for me (laughs) so hopefully it's behind me uh Crazy, crazy women. Cuckoo, crazy. Hey, yo, crazy bitch.